Hey guys, hey from Punta Cana. My husband and I are here. We have been here uh, about two days now. We're really enjoying our anniversary trip so far. By the time this gets up, we'll be back. But I did get a new, but I did get a new vlogging camera, and I brought it with me so I could film a couple of videos while we were here. Uh, so I thought I would do a little, um, just kind of beach makeup look. Right now, I don't have anything on my face. I just went to the gym here, which was um, pretty impressive, actually. I really like the gym here. Sometimes I work out on vacation. Sometimes I do I don't. But I really enjoyed it so I wish I had brought more workout clothes anyway off topic um, but I'm just about to go to the beach and I wanted to put a little bit of makeup on I also wanted to test a new product that I picked up for this trip but it's also a great product for every day it's well I think it is we'll see we're gonna test it out and I'll let you know, guys know what I think but it's the uh, Kula face makeup setting spray and it has an SPF of 30 so it says that it sets your makeup and keeps your makeup um, it's a matte finish it keeps your makeup wearing all day so it's just like a normal setting spray but it has an SPF of 30 and it's 70% organic so I think that's kind of cool so I'm gonna test it out I'm gonna do my makeup I'm gonna spray this and then we'll kind of check in throughout the day and see how if it's a great product or not so um I don't have a lot of makeup I'm not wearing a lot of makeup at the beach I am starting out with the Dermalogica Dermalogica um what is this called dynamic skin recovery this is a new moisturizer I just picked up um I've been using I've been using Rodan Fields forever but I ran out of it and I needed it quick for this trip so I ran to Ulta and they recommended it it has an SPF of 50 so that was initially what attracted me to it and I do like that it has a pump um, rather than like a tub usually one pump is is all I use you know day to day but for the beach being out on the beach all day I'm gonna use two okay all right and then for complexion products I'm gonna keep it really simple I brought the it cosmetics CC cream this has an SPF of 50 so everything you'll see a theme here it's all about sun protection um, this is a great product beach or not this is something that I wear a lot back at home um, just day to day like it actually offers pretty good coverage for a cc cream i would compare this to the coverage of a foundation um it's definitely more full coverage than most cc creams or bb creams you guys you know what i forgot i forgot to grab my beauty blender let me go grab that okay so i usually just apply this with my fingers but because i just have this little viewfinder on the camera and i can't really tell i'm gonna use this beauty blender just to make sure that i get it blended in really well I'm not doing a lot of this, just a little bit to even out my skin tone, really more for the sun protection than anything. My hair is so frizzy. When I'm at the beach, I rarely wash my hair. I mean, I kind of let it get to the point where I just don't have a choice, but I just find it so pointless to wash and blow dry your hair down here because it's just so humid. It just gets so frizzy right away. Then I'm gonna use the um, Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This is not a favorite concealer of mine, but I thought it'd be great for the beach because it's very, very lightweight and it does not look heavy at all. So it's great for the days that you're wearing more of a natural foundation because it just goes with the foundation. You know, I didn't want a concealer that was really full coverage because it would look a little odd to have full coverage underneath my eyes and then really lightweight everywhere else. It just wouldn't look right. So I wanted something very sheer and natural looking. So I do think this concealer serves a purpose for that. When I initially tried this concealer, I was kind of disappointed. I was like, what's the point of this? It doesn't really cover much, but it does brighten up a little bit. And it does, it does even out a little bit. I feel like you do, you, if you have really dark circles though, this concealer is not going to be very um, effective for you. I don't think you're going to like this concealer too much if you have really dark circles. Okay, so the skin is very light. You can see, I mean, I still see my skin through everything, but it's evened out, and more than anything, I have a lot of sun protection on, so that's great. Okay, next I'm going to do my brows, and what did I bring here? For brows, I'm going to use what I use at home, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, and then I'm going to use the her brow gel, tinted brow gel, to just add a little bit more texture to my brows and keep them in place a little better. I need to get my brows done. I have all these strays over here. So we are really enjoying our trip. Uh, the first day we got here, though, <laughs> kind of ran into some issues, and it was a little, I don't know, I was kind of disappointed. I, I didn't know how the trip was going to go, but I just decided, you know what? I'm going to enjoy myself regardless of any little hiccups that came along. There's no sense in letting anything ruin my trip over silly little things that really don't matter, you know? So I kind of had to like mentally like have a pep talk with myself and like shift my attitude because I didn't have the best attitude when we first got here. And a lot of it was just misunderstanding. It wasn't really anyone's fault. 
Of course, when I first got here, I had been traveling all day and I was so tired and I thought it, it was the hotel's fault or our travel agent's fault, but then the more time I had to kind of sit back and look on the situation, I was like, well, it wasn't really anyone's fault. It was just kind of a misunderstanding. We thought that we had booked a certain room, um, like a room with a swim up pool and everything. Like that's what we thought we had booked. We had paid a pretty big upgrade to have that or so we thought. And then when we checked in, we didn't have that room. And so I went back and forth with my travel agent and there was just like, it was just a misunderstanding. It really wasn't her fault and it wasn't really my fault. It was just kind of a misunderstanding. But anyway, long story short is we are enjoying ourselves. The more I thought about it, the more I was thinking, you know what, I actually would prefer the room we have because there is more privacy. You know, with the swim out pools, you have people like kind of walking by and then this room we get to see the ocean where we couldn't see the ocean from that room. So we're happy all how you look at things okay all right not really gonna be too concerned with perfection here and then I'm just gonna go over that with a little bit of the brow gel all right for bronzer I brought the physicians formula butter bronzer I just think that you can't go to the beach without this bronzer look at this I love this product I've already hit a big part of the pan there I love the way this smells you probably have heard so much about this product already you've heard me talk about it you've heard other people talk about it it's just nice it has a nice like natural kind of bronzy shade the smell of it smells like coconuts it smells like the beach I just think it's great I think I have the lightest one I think they come in two different shades and I have the lightest one and then this is my favorite brush to apply bronzer I need to wash it it's the 135 by Mac I like it because it's very lightweight, so it applies it really nice and sheerly, but you can build it if you want. But I also like the shape of the brush. So it's kind of, it's crimped right here and then it's fluffy on top, but it's like the perfect shape for contouring or bronzing or applying really light powder, a light application of powder. Okay, I'm gonna be a little liberal with the bronzer because my face is quite a bit lighter than the rest of my body right now. I did self tan before we came. Okay. Alrighty, so for powder, I'm just using this Makeup Forever HD Loose Powder. I picked up a couple of e.l.f. brushes um, that I'm really liking. So this one is the Total Face Brush. It's just this big, soft, fluffy brush. I like these brushes a lot. They were like a dollar or two dollars, something crazy. I don't know if that's the normal price of them or if they were just on sale or what, but I got two others. I got the blending brush and the face brush, and I like them all. So you can already see this concealer is like creasing, but it's also very, very humid here. So I don't really know if I, you know, what my expectation should be with this type of humidity. Okay, for eyes, I'm only gonna do some waterproof mascara. No eyeshadow, no eyeliner, nothing like that. I'm using the Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. I did hear this one was extremely hard to take off. Um, it definitely is harder to take off than the regular one, I guess. But I just use, I've been using the Clinique Melt the Day balm and it's been working like that takes it off well I mean it takes a little bit more time but I don't have any problems getting it off you know okay the sitting on the floor is killing my back So this new camera that I got, I'm so excited about it. Um, for like check-in videos, I don't really do any vlogs on my channel, but for check-in videos where I take you around throughout the day and check on foundation and all that, I've always used my iPhone. And this is going to just have a lot better quality. I'm excited, so I plan to do a lot more of those videos. Okay, I realize I made a mess on my eyelids with this mascara, but I'm just gonna wait till it dries and then I'll flake it off. Okay, and then last for lips, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this lip gloss on. It's uh, Super Orgasm by NARS. I think it's a great beach summer shade because it's very light. Pink has a lot of gold to it. It just gives your lips a light little tint and it looks lightweight and it's, I just think it's a perfect shade for the beach. Okay, so we're done with the makeup. So this product, I was really intrigued when I picked this up. I was actually just looking for a uh, facial sunscreen and this was in the same section of that at Ulta. So it says it's a weightless matte finish, mist protects the sensitive skin of your face while keeping your makeup looking fresh all day. 
this highly advanced formula includes both cucumber and aloe vera extracts to help soothe and refresh skin and hyaluronic acid known to bind moisture and help soften tone and rehydrate the skin. Reduce the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles and protect your skin from the sun's harmful UV rays with broad spectrum SPF 30 protection. All right, so it says to shake well and then just like any setting spray, hold it about 10 inches from your face and spray. All right, so my skin is pretty matte right now because I did set it with powder. So my makeup looks pretty matte and fresh. We're gonna see how it looks. Keep in mind, I'm at the beach, so it's humid and it's in the you know upper 80s. Okay, hmm. So it has a kind of a strong smell. There's a little bit of stinging, like I kind of feel my eyes stinging a tiny bit. Not painful, but I definitely noticed. Okay, it's gone, it's really quick, but I did notice that right away. So I just wanna tell you guys that. All right, so um, what time is it? I think it's like 9 a.m. All right, you guys, so I'll see you in a couple of check-ins throughout the day. Hey guys, it is about 12.30, so we've been on the beach for a couple hours now. Um, I'm gonna show you this view that we have right now. Isn't it beautiful? This is what I've been sitting here relaxing and looking at for the last couple hours. It's a beautiful day here. It's warm. It's like in the upper 80s. There's a nice constant breeze that goes. We are sitting underneath this little, is this called a palapa? Anyway, we're sitting underneath this umbrella, whatever you want to call it, and just relaxing. I forgot to bring a book or a magazine to read, so I've just been catching up on YouTube videos and um, just kind of wasting time on my phone doing things that I don't really have a lot of time to do at home. So it's been enjoyable. Um, I do feel like today was not a good day to test that makeup setting spray though because it's hot and I'm sweating and you know, I don't feel like it was a fair, I don't feel like I'm giving it a fair trial. So I do want to retest this product back at home in my normal environment to see how it helps my makeup stay in, you know, a normal day. All right, not when I'm at the beach getting sand all over my face and sweating. Um, but I did want to check in with you guys and just kind of say hi and kind of show you what my current situation is. We've really been enjoying this trip a lot. It's uh, kind of everything that we needed. Um, you know, we needed this trip. So we're enjoying ourselves. It's day, I guess it's technically day three. It's our second full day here. So the first day we got in was day one, I guess, but we didn't really get a lot of time on the beach that day. Um, and we're enjoying it. We have two more full days here and then we fly out on Tuesday. Um, and I think it's just the perfect amount of time because I already miss my babies and, you know, it's funny, you, um, I think as a parent with young kids, you like say you want to get away and you want to break and you want a vacation, you know, and you do, you know, it's nice and it's needed every now and then. Um, but you know, being here even just 24 hours, I just miss my kids and miss them. Uh, so it's good though, cause I'll go back home and I'll be recharged, refreshed. And, um, I just will, you know, just can't wait to see them. So anyway, I'm going to get back to doing a whole lot of nothing and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, hey guys, it's about four o'clock and I just got back to my room. We spent the entire day out at the pool in the beach and I just checked my makeup in the mirror and I have to say that uh, I think that spray really did help. I mean, I kind of decided that it's probably not the best time to test a makeup product when you're at the beach just because it's extremely humid here and this is not how my normal environment is. So, um, I mean, if something works here, that's awesome and great, but if something doesn't, I feel like I should still give it a fair shot back home. Um, but I do think that this did help. I mean, I'm definitely dewy and you can tell, um, you know, but here's the thing, the IT Cosmetics CC Cream alone is not a long rain foundation on me. Like when I wear that at home after a couple of hours, it does feel kind of tacky and shiny and I do have to touch up to keep it mattified throughout the day. So that foundation alone is not like a long rain foundation. And I think that it held up pretty well. Um, let's see, I applied that around nine or so, uh, or what was that, like 9.30 and now it's four. So, and I've been outside this whole time right by the beach, it's humid and it's like almost 90 degrees. So I think that that, that spray did um, is pretty good and it has an SPF of 30, so that's awesome. So um, anyway, I just wanted to sum that up for you guys. We're having a really great time right now. Um, we've just been relaxing and just laying around, really doing nothing. So um, it's been it's been nice. But now I'm gonna go ahead and shower, wash my face, and get ready for dinner. I think tonight's gonna be the dinner that we kind of dress up a little bit more and go out for like our anniversary celebration. So technically our anniversary is actually not until September. We planned this trip early. 
because my daughter's starting kindergarten this year and I didn't want to be away for a few days while she was in school and have um, our family have to worry about getting her up into school and all of that on time. So I just thought it'd be better to plan this trip in the summer. But um, anyway, tonight we're going to have our like our official anniversary celebration dinner. And uh, so I'm going to take a shower, wash my hair, um, put my makeup on and all that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.